Welcome to a new video and a new trap. And the game started with e4, e5, d4, e takes d4, c3, uh, d takes c3, knight takes c3, knight c6, bishop c4, bishop b4, and knight f3. And this is a line of uh, uh the scotch opening uh it's called now the goring gambit uh, sacrificing the pawn on c3 <clears throat> so uh, we continue in case d6 and castling uh, this is unclear position uh, in the game knight to f6 was played and now in case castling so this is uh, another line in this uh, gambit, Goring gambit. Uh, could be played, castling, or we continue with e5. So after e5, there is many uh, moves. Knight e4, and this is a blunder because queen to d5. Now attacking uh, f7, threatening mate, and attacking the knight on e4. Uh, or else, Knight to g4, also this is a blunder. <laughs> this is why uh, every player should study his opening if he wants to play uh, some opening or some uh, lines. So you have to study the theory and analyze uh, the theory. Because, uh, you know, after one move, you could uh, lose the game. Knight g4 also is uh, a blunder. Bishop takes f7, king f7, knight to g5 check, and the knight on g4 is lost. <clears throat> so, back to the game. In the game, uh, black played d5. Uh, and this is like considered like a, a mandatory way of playing, because uh, with d5 blocking uh, the bishop on c4 and also threatening to play d4 and attacking the c3 knight. So e takes f6, f6 e takes d, uh, d takes c4, <clears throat> and now as you see, many exchanges and the center is open and the king, uh, black king and the white king still in the center. And now, <clears throat> in case queen takes d8, <clears throat> knight takes d8. Uh, f takes g7, rook to g8, bishop to h6. And uh, this position uh, considered uh, difficult for both uh, players and uh, it's difficult to evaluate. So this is an unclear position for both players. So back to the game. In the game, uh, f takes g7. <clears throat> now in case bishop takes c3 check, B takes c3, queen d1, king d1, rook g8, rook e1 check, bishop to e6 blocking, bishop h6 protecting the pawn on g7, and uh, you, you can notice now this pawn is a big problem for black. Castling with check, king to c2, and uh, this uh, position is unclear. <laughs> the, bishop, uh, the pawn on g7 is a big problem. Uh, somehow the king on c2 is uh, not very safe, but the rook is connected and uh, white can activate his pieces very uh, fast. So back to the game, rook to g8, uh, controlling and attacking the pawn on uh, g7. <clears throat> Bishop to h6, of course. It's very uh, important to protect the g7 pawn. Queen d1, rook d1, bishop f5, castling, and bishop to d3. In case f6, uh, giving uh, the king this uh, square on f7, so it could be uh, a good way to play and uh, connecting uh, the rooks now. <coughs> And it could be a very good way to play for black. Uh, 
and uh, the position is unclear for both sides. But this is not what happened in the game. In the game, um, Black played somehow, uh, it looks like a good uh, move, uh, playing the, the, the bishop to d3, uh, blocking uh, the rook, uh, and uh, disturbing and attacking the rook on f1, and disturbing the uh, whole white camp. But uh, in uh, much and further uh, analysis, uh, this bishop on d3 uh, is a bad move. Let's see why. Rook to e, uh, rook f to e1 check, king to d7, knight to g5, rook e8, rook takes e8, king takes e8, because uh, the rook on g on g8 cannot leave uh, this square because of this uh, pawn, and this is why we said that the pawn on g7 is very dangerous for black. So knight to d5 now, bishop to e7, and you can see uh, all black pieces uh, going back and in passive positions, and this uh, bishop here is doing nothing, just blocking the rook, but the rook can be activated on e1. So knight takes h7, and after that, uh, black resigned because now there is many threats. And uh, too many uh, threats to be uh, handled, so black resigned. So this is uh, our video for today. Uh, this line of the Scotch uh, gambit uh, reaching this position is the Goring gambit, and uh, it's uh, a little bit dangerous because if you don't know what you are playing, and you could lose the game in one move or lose material in one move. So this is our uh, game, uh, our game, and our video for today. Thank you for watching. See you next video and next trap. Bye.